Welcome. In front of me is a Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 and today I will show you how we can bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now we can see that the phone I have right here is locked and I can unlock it using a pattern or using the Google account by tapping right here. And assuming we don't know either of those, we're gonna bypass it by going back to the Wi-Fi connection page. Now you want to start off by actually connecting to Wi-Fi, which as you can see, I already am connected. And once you have connected to one, scroll all the way down to add network and then in SSID, just type in youtube.com. Once you have done so, hold the text and then select the little uh, chain link icon, which is the second one. This will open up our uh, well, YouTube. So from here, you will select the account icon and then navigate into help and feedback and then describe your issue. You want to type in delete or disable. Uh, now, once you type in delete or, it should show up as a suggested. So delete or disable apps on Android. Click on the suggested option right here. And from here, we're gonna simply tap on the top to go to application settings. In here, once it loads up our apps, you wanna type in, or not type in, tap on more, show system, and we're looking for Android setup, which is right here. Now it looks like we have two of them, so keep that in mind. I'm gonna start off with the first one, and I'm just simply gonna select disable, disable app, and then I believe I also need to force stop it. Or not. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it on. So I have disabled the setup, then I'm gonna go to the second one and for stop and okay. So from here, I'm gonna go back again uh, to the app info page right here. And we're now looking for Google Play services. So scroll down to G, there we go. Google Play services is right over here. Click on it and same as before, disable, disable app and also for stop and okay. And last things last, we're gonna now go back again and we're gonna scroll all the way down to settings. There we go. Uh, now again, we have two different settings. So we want to open up the first one, which is this one uh, with this specific icon, as you can see. Now, there will, if you open up the wrong one, don't worry. Uh, one of them just simply won't have the open option right here. So that's the one that you're looking for. From here, you wanna select obviously open. And from our settings, we're now gonna go into accessibility uh, settings, which is uh, under additional settings. So additional settings and accessibility. And in here, we are looking for accessibility mini. And you wanna toggle it on and select allow. As you can see, it gives you this pop-up letting you know that this is the accessibility menu right here. So click on okay. And we're now gonna back out to the Wi-Fi connection page. There we go. And from here, we're gonna now progress to the next page. And it will be stuck on this page now for basically ever, unless we do something. So that is what we're looking for. And now go, comes the tricky part, I guess. So you're gonna click on the accessibility menu, then you're gonna go to Google Assistant, and it does nothing, let's try it again. Add flicker, flicker, and there we go, there is a settings option which disappears after a moment. You wanna click on that settings, this will open up our Google Play services page that uh, where we, it looks the same as the one that we have disabled. And all you need to do is select enable. And as you see, this is kind of like tricky. It doesn't want to always open. Oh, no, it was. And enable is right here. So 
just want to keep on trying till you can get it enabled. There we go. So I have just enabled it. And from here, you're going to go back. And this will simply skip the page where we need to verify. So we're going to now finish up the setup. Select whatever uh, search engine you want, it doesn't really matter. <coughs> now once we gain access to our home screen, which should be any moment now, There we go. Oh, it's still loading apps. There we go. So once you have your apps and everything, from here you want to navigate to your settings. Scroll down to additional settings and scroll down. Oh, and here you will find factory reset. And you want to select right here, erase all data, factory reset. It likes you by 20 seconds, so 10 seconds to press next and then another 10 seconds before you can press OK. Now, I won't be actually going through this process, though it is uh, it is uh, necessary. The reason why I'm not gonna go, uh, at least on camera, I will still do it uh, off the camera, is just because it provides you with no additional content. Once you press on that OK button, the factory reset or will begin, and what this will do is basically remove the protection on the device. So the Google account and uh, pattern that was set on this phone will be completely erased and it will bring you back to the setup screen from which you can set up your device however you like. That's why, like I said, I don't really see a reason to record this because once you press on OK, it's just a couple minutes of factory resetting and then it's just a setup screen, which you can go through however you like. And that being said, this is how you would bypass the Google verification on this phone. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.